Hello, my name is David Hart and I'm going to give you a special presentation here called How to Get Fully Booked Teaching Guitar. I use a five-step strategy which I've used for many years and works every single time. If you follow this strategy, I guarantee you, you will get fully booked. Here we go. So my journey, let me give you a quick background. Um, I started guitar in the early 80s. I, in 1984, I began teaching privately for the first time. In 1988, I opened my first guitar school and it ended up becoming a music school, which I sold in 2003. In 2005, I started what's called the G4 Guitar School, and in two years, we'd enrolled over 3,000 students, and it just went crazy. We had 20 teachers. We couldn't get enough teachers. It was a real problem. Uh, we had five schools, and in 2009, I decided to take it worldwide and create what I call the G4 Guitar Network, and we've since helped hundreds of teachers, guitar teachers, set up their guitar schools and succeed. Okay, the common problem most guitar teachers have is they're frustrated. They, they, you know, they think they sort of say things like the economy is no good. There are not enough inquiries coming through. There's too much competition out there. They people just say they can't afford lessons. Uh, students quickly lose interest. Um, they don't get any referrals like they used to. Um, so they're very frustrated because it's just not happening for them. So here are the five steps that I use to succeed as a guitar teacher. First of all, I focus on getting daily inquiries. That's my initial goal. I need that phone ringing and I need inquiries coming through every day. If I'm not getting inquiries every day, then I'm not doing enough marketing. So I get back to my marketing. Uh, the second thing is that you need to have sales skills. You need to be converting 90%. You need to track that percentage accurately and that's the percentage you need. You need long-term commitment from students, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. Um, you need to be getting results for students, of course, because that's your product. And you also need students referring. If you want to grow quickly and exponentially, you need students referring more students to you. So number one, let's have a look at daily inquiries. Local marketing. This is the key. If you're not marketing locally, if you're too focused on marketing broad, then you won't get the students. Your students will come from your local area. You need to do offline more than online. Most teachers are out there doing online, but you need to do offline as well. How much offline marketing do you do? Think about it. Uh, you need to be consistent, so you need to be marketing every day. You need to be prof have a professional website. They have to. This this is so important because the website is where people go to to look at who you are. It's a window into your business, and something like ninety four percent of people will check a website before they'll even give you a call. So your website has to be right, and you need to leverage your time. In other words, you need to make the most of your time when you're marketing to make sure that you get the most inquiries for the time that you spend. Now, the little comments here, I'll put on the bottom, Alex here, he says, my God, my inbox and phone have exploded with inquiries. This is insane. So this gives you an idea of what kind of results we get with our teachers. Number two, converting 90%. It's all about sales training. If you don't have sales training, get sales training. You need to sell the benefits. Uh, if you're not selling the benefits of what you do, then people aren't interested. They don't know um, why they should learn. It's about benefits for them, not for you. Why should they pick you? What's special about you? What's different to the other 10 teachers in their neighborhood? Um, and practicing sales. Think about it. On guitar, you practice before you perform. How much do you practice guitar? Do you practice every day? Do you, do you, sorry, do you practice sales every day? Um, if you're not practicing and becoming better at sales, then you're not going to get, and that includes with the training. You, you would not become a salesperson without sales training. Uh, yet most guitar teachers get into to the business of teaching guitar, but they don't have any sales training or practice sales, so that's why they're not converting. And you need to record and analyze. Think about sports. Think about your music. You, you record something, you listen back to it, you decide is it good, you make a song, you decide is that any good. If not, you go back and you redo it. It's the same with your conversions. Listen to how you do it. Now, Adam here, he's from the US, and he said, I just nailed my past to phone sales. Uh, from students. Thank you, Dave, for teaching me how. And you can see that he's very happy about it. And we've taught him the technique, and that's why he's getting success, having success now. Number three, long-term commitment. Very important. You need to be upfront, be honest with your students about what it takes to learn guitar. If they don't know what's involved with learning guitar long-term, then they're not going to continue with you. They're going to give up pretty quickly. It's just natural that they become disillusioned after a while if they think it was going to take them three weeks, and it's actually taking them months. Two years plus to learn. That's what I say to students. You've got two years because that's what it's going to take for you to learn guitar. They might learn faster. Great if they do. If they practice hard, then great. But generally, I say two years because that keeps them, puts them back a little bit, makes them patient, drops the bar. 
have a plan. If you don't have a plan, your students don't know where you're going. When you have a plan, then students have confidence in you and where they're going with you. You wouldn't get on a plane if the pilot didn't have a plan. Um, so as a teacher, make sure you have a plan. Look for signs. What are the signs that these students are going to drop out? Are they, are they practicing? Are they turning up to lessons every week? Are they making excuses? These are the kind of signs that you're, going to, you're about to lose the student. Keep selling the benefits. Remember that it's, it's not just enough to sell them at the, the, the initial enrollment. You have to keep selling them week by week. Every week they have to want to come again. Now, a little message here from John. Just wanted to give you an update and thank you. I put keywords in description areas of my YouTube video and which we explained to you in the training. It's all about, uh, and he said he's now number one in, in on YouTube in surrounding areas as well. Uh, what a dynamite tip you gave us. So you can see the kind of advice and the training we give is very, very valuable. Get results. you really important. You need to get results for your students. You need to be consistent. And that means every week when they come, they, they're looking for a specific kind of experience. And you need to be consistent. Don't be good one week and down the next week or changing what you're teaching or how you're teaching. Be consistent with your teaching. Systemize your lessons. Make sure that you know that your lessons actually work, that there is a system to your teaching. And if you don't have a system, you need to get one. Compulsory practice. If your students aren't practicing, they will give up anyway. They'll lose confidence and it will make you look bad. They will go out there and go, I learned with this guy for three months and got nowhere. Um, they got nowhere because they didn't practice, but you didn't tell them that they had to practice or you didn't make it compulsory. You said it was okay. You can keep coming and paying me. As long as you pay me, I'm, I'm happy with that. But compulsory practice is the key. I always made my practice compulsory for students. Um, track progress. Make sure you're looking at how much they're progressing and that you've got a system. I use checklists um, to ensure that they're moving forward all the time. And involve parents. Very, very important. Okay. Yoakum says, I was studying the teacher training today before online and realized there is so much good info there. So this is the training he's been going through and it's packed full of great information. Okay, so getting referrals, branding, this is a big one, this is number one, branding your product. So you can see that if we have a product, we've got G4 Guitar Method, it's easier for students to refer you if you've got a product. They can say, hey, check this out, I've got an actual method here, this is what I learned from. If you don't have something like that, if you've just got a bunch of things that you've handwritten on, you know, you know, kind of bunched up in a manila folder or something, it doesn't make for a good referral. Um, teach kids, kids talk about. You, they are going to share you with, they have a lot more friends. Kids have big networks of friends, they share what they do, they have show and tell at school, they'll get up and they'll talk about you and encourage the kids to get up and talk about you at school. Also talk to the, the they, they have parents who also brag about their kids, so if their kids are learning guitar, they're more likely to tell their friends, hey, my kid's learning guitar. Um, teaching groups, groups, when you teach privately, word doesn't spread because it's private, nobody knows about it. Teaching groups, they start chatting amongst each other and that conversation can spread throughout the community very quickly and it does. Um, get your students to invite friends. Tell them, you know, have you got a friend who wants to learn? Bring them along because it's great if you learn with a friend. And that's where the group teaching comes into it as well. And involve parents. Again, parents are a big, um, especially mothers, they really spread the word. So make sure that you're doing those things if you want to get referrals. So let me talk about group teaching and why it's so important. I just want to give you a sort of a bit more insight. The University of California, Berkeley said, researchers report that regardless of student uh, of subject matter, students working in a small group uh, tend to learn more of what is taught and retain it longer. Really important. Now, I've done this for years. I know that it works. I taught privately for the first 10 years of my teaching career, and then I switched to group. And when I started teaching in group at first, I was a bit skeptical, but then I saw the results. The group students learn faster for several reasons. Number one is they just get better results. Okay, um, Part of learning in a group, it, it, the students will get better results. The Berkeley study here shows it, and we know it to be true. Um, they practice more because when they're working together, and that's why they actually get better results, because they do more practice. More practice, more results. And by working in groups, you will see that the students will practice more to keep up with the group. You'll also get less dropouts, uh, which is not just good for you as, as a business, but it's also good for students because if they don't drop out, then they're more likely to succeed. The longer they learn, the more likely they are to stick with it long term. Um, and uh, it's a lower price, so you, you're not going to lose students um, at a, because the price is lower. In actual, in actual fact, when the economy is down, students move from private lessons to group because they can't afford private and uh, peer support. The students get support from their friends in the group, so they're more likely to stay because they get that support. And you also get more referrals, um, as we spoke about already. Okay, so the group effect, private equals no word of mouth, group spreads fast. All right, so I'm gonna to talk to you quickly about G4 Guitar Teacher and Business Training 
It's based on 30 years of experience. So by learning what we've got to show you, you are going to really excel. Your business is going to take off if you're a guitar teacher or if you ain't going to teach it really, you can come in and have a look. But this is specifically meant for guitar teachers. Okay, what you will learn, here it is. Number one, you will learn to get more students. Every guitar teacher I speak to, the first thing they go is, I need more students. Okay, number one, um, you'll learn to enroll 90% of those inquiries. It's one thing to get the inquiries, but you need to even be enrolling. It's really important. That's the sales training that we provide. You will get results for those students. And this is critical because this is the, your reputation. And it doesn't matter if you're getting lots of inquiries and you're enrolling them. If they're not getting any results, then your, your reputation will spread soon that you're not much of a teacher. And you need to keep those students committed. Very important. Um, if they're not staying long term, then that's when they, they don't get results and your business is, is not going to work. You're going to be constantly chasing new students. And how to get referrals. Um, and that's that's something that we, we go into depth about in the importance, and this is with the group teaching and so forth, that the strategies that we use for group teaching um, and, sorry, gaining referrals is what it's all about. And this is how your business is going to build very fast and how we enroll thousands of students in a very short period of time. Okay, the teacher pack. This is what you get if you purchase our teacher pack. You get a training website where we have all the information, stacks of information. Remember, it's based on 30 years of experience. You get 60 plus hours of audio. You get video training. You get uh, all the teaching resources, which will give you everything you need for teaching. Um, there's an ebook series called Guitar Teacher Questions, where you, you will see teacher questions and answers, the most common ones. So it'll, it'll really answer just about all the questions you have. We have a Facebook group where you can come and join and look at the other teachers and how they're progressing and ask questions and um, contribute if you like and, and so forth. Um, we also include a bunch of extra bonuses. Um, once you get access to the website, you'll also get access to a whole bunch of downloads where you'll get all these extra bonuses. The total value is $3,850, but that's not what you're going to pay. That's just the value of the pack. If you bought it straight out, everything, then that's what it would cost. Um, and we also guarantee everything that we do. Um, amazing value. So you're getting a training website, you're getting 60 plus hours of audio, you're getting the video training, you're getting teaching resources, you're getting business training, you're getting to be part of a group online with other teachers, you're getting email support, and plus, if you watch this video, we're going to throw in a $100 bonus, but you need to ask for it. You need to say, I saw the video, and I want that $100 bonus, and this is really important that you ask for it, because we don't give it away unless you ask for it. Um, now, to get access to uh, to this, you know, there should be a link below this video, um, but otherwise you can go to our website, which is cheapalguitarmethod.com, um, and go to the Teach section, you'll see it at the top, just click on there, or you can go straight to the bit.ly uh, here, which is just the bit.ly Teach Guitar. Um, okay, thank you.